it's Jen. Welcome back to Bookish Blonde. Thanks for stopping in today. So today we're going to talk about overhyped books that I just didn't get. These are going to be 10 books that were very hyped and I feel like they shouldn't have been. Um, I am an unpopular opinion for these 10 books. Please, a full disclaimer, if one of these books you love, I am so sorry. I, I'm so happy for you that you loved um, loved one of these. I definitely feel like every book is not for everyone, but every book has a, per a person that will enjoy it. So these are just my personal feelings. Obviously, please don't let me, um, I hope I don't offend anyone. And like I said, if you love one of these, I am so happy for you. That is awesome. That's good for the author as well, of course. So, um, but yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so I have 10 books. First one is The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. If you've watched my February wrap up, you already know this is not new information. I just didn't get it. I felt annoyed. I felt bored. I felt frustrated because I didn't like how the time, um, the time chain or the time travel. I didn't like how the time travel was done. I felt they could have done so much more with that. Um, I felt like the chemistry between the characters was lacking. And even when they, there was chemistry on the paper, I thought it wasn't great. I did enjoy more so the, um, the relationship or the storyline between the main character and her aunt, but I, even that I felt like could have been done um, better. So I'm an unpopular opinion on that one. That one was not for me. I have another book by her on my bookshelf, so I will give her a second chance at some point, but I'm just not ready for that. Next one is all over TikTok. If you walk into a Barnes & Noble, there's a TikTok table. It's there too. Even my own sister loved this book, but I could not understand what there was to love. I picked it up over and over again, kept trying to be like, okay, let's just keep reading a few more chapters, power through. I did finish the book and I was mad at myself. I should have just DNF'd it because it just wasn't for me. And that is Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. This book was so dark and twisted, you guys, and I just couldn't get on board because the main male character, um, I felt like it was very stalkerish, and I didn't like that. And when you find out what he does for a living, I don't want to spoil anything. But how am I supposed to be rooting and liking, like, or rooting and like a male character that to me was just the biggest creep ever? So that was not for me. One star. Um, Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. This one had such rave reviews. I think I may actually be the only one on the planet that did not love it. To me, it was just forgettable. This is um, a summertime romance. I felt like maybe just I wasn't the right age demographic for it. The the, ju the love story felt very juvenile to me. So I think this was a me problem. Um, I have interest in reading another book by her just to give her another shot, but and who knows, maybe if this book wasn't overly hyped, I might have enjoyed it more because I had very high expectations going in and it just, to me, I've already forgotten about it. It just wasn't memorable. Um, okay, let's talk a minute about Sally Hepworth. Now, I've read three books by her. I have read The Younger Wife, Good Sister, and The Mother-in-Law. So overall, I feel for me, Sally Hepworth, I'm the unpopular opinion. Lo people love her. She's just not for me. I've given her three strikes her out. I just, her premises suck me in and totally intrigued me. And then I have never, every time I finished one of her books, I have felt like, wow, that was a waste of my time. Why didn't I DNF that? I just, I don't like her writing. I don't like her, she's very character heavy, not a lot of plot. Um, so it's definitely her books are not thrilling like they're marketed. Okay, The Plot by Jean Corlitz. Another super talked about overhyped book. Um, the pacing was off. It felt very slow to me. It was overly predictable, and it just felt flat. It was another book I just felt like I want this to be over. I need to know what happens. Yep, I was right. Okay, next. Next book, please. Um, the next one's a hard one for me to admit. I know a lot of people love this book, but The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. Now, I love The Silent Patient, but, I mean, that my, that's one of my all-time favorite uh, mystery thrillers, psychological thrillers. I love that one. So I had high expectations for the maidens and for me It just I was bored. I was very let down um, The ending was very underwhelming one of the main characters um, Mary Mariana Mariana was probably one of the dumbest characters I've 
ever read? I mean, was she even a trained psychotherapist? I, I, I just didn't get it. I felt like the reveal twist was completely un, unpredictable. Um, yeah, and the ending was underwhelming too. I just, yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I have um, the Fury on my shelf, so I'm hoping that redeems himself because, yeah, the Maidens, I actually unhauled that book and gifted it to a friend. So, yeah, just wasn't for me. Okay, the next one's another romance. One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. McQuiston. Um, this was just a three star. It was okay. Um, it was a little too instant lovey for me. Um, this was a female female romance. I felt like the romance was just one sided. Um, I felt like the pacing again was not great. There was parts of it that were so slow and dragged on. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, it wasn't for me. Didn't love it. Um, I know Casey McQuiston has written um, Red, White, and Royal Blue which I'm hoping to pick up. Um, I have a couple friends that really love it, so I'm gonna give her another chance, but one last stop I did not like. Um, okay, I have my list right here. Sorry, I'm just checking, make sure I didn't for anything. Um, the Night Tiger by Yangzi Chu, two stars. Um, main thing was I did not like the relationship between the main character and her stepbrother. It was kind of cringy to me. Um, if I wasn't reading this book for a um, book club book prompt. I probably would have DNF'd it. I felt like it was heavy on the coincidences. It kind of felt YA to me, kind of felt repetitive, and I just kept feeling like, is this book over? When is this book over? So I don't know. I don't really have anything more specific other than it was not for me, but a lot of people love it. It's got good readings on Goodreads. I just did not care for it. All right, two more. The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Yeah, I know. Everyone and their mother read this book and loved this book, and I just didn't get it. I gave it like two and a half stars. Um, I didn't relate or like any of the characters. I'm okay with some characters that you are purposely not supposed to like, but when you don't like any of the characters, I found the male characters so immature and annoying. They were childish, grown men acting like they're still in like a sorority or something. Um, it was just such a disappointment. I felt like the plot was coincidental. I felt like the plot and the twist were unbelievable. It felt like the most never ending wedding ever. So yeah, didn't like that one. Um, okay, last but not least, another romance. Um, Chloe Brown. Chloe Brown. I, by Talia Hibbard. I think that's right. Um, this was just cheesy, you guys. I am not a prude. I'm okay with a open door, steamy, sexy time. But it was so uncomfortable the way those scenes were written. To me personally, it was cheesy and it was very uncomfortable. I was just like, oh my gosh. To me, the words that you were used to describe certain body parts were just, I'm like, nope, I can't do it. Um, I also felt like the characters, I think, were in their late 20s, early 30s, and they acted like teenagers. Um, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, I appreciated the um, parts of it. I think Chloe could be funny at times. I do, did enjoy the, like, heavier girl rep that the this main character gave. I thought that was really um, body positive, and I liked that. But I, yeah, I didn't read anything else by her because her... Sexy time scenes were so uncomfortable and cringy to me. So there you go. There are 10 books that are so hyped that I did not understand or agree with. Again, thank you for watching. If you loved reading these books, I'm so happy for you. This is just my opinion, obviously. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got for you today. Um, that's it. Okay, so again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really good weekend and happy reading. Bye.